Hello everyone, we will continue that topic, how to send a ALV output as an email attachment. And in the last videos, we simply finished with the first six steps. Now we need to go for attachment part. If I will simply compare it to our mail, we simply created the send request, we provided the recipients, we simply simply provided the subject body of the mail. Now we need to go for attachment. Yes, attachment is also a document. It's a part of document. It means we will use the same to same class CL underscore document underscore this. Yes. Now we will check this particular class and we will see which particular method we can use. I will go for our program. Now if I will check for this particular class, CL document DCS. Now you can see into this particular class, we have a method add underscore attachment. I will go for that method. If I will just simply see, you can see we have a doc, we have a method here, add underscore attachment. So what is this? It is for creating the attachment. So we will use this method. Now, this method is an instance method. It means we need the object. Now, do we have an object of this particular class? Yes, we have the object. If I will go for the method, if I will simply close this session, now we have a, I'll just open in a new session. This class will remain as it is. Now, if I will simply scroll down, do we have an object of this particular class? Yes, we have an object. Into this particular LO document, we have an object of this class. So we will simply use this. Now I will go for pattern, a BAP object patterns. What is the instance? Instance is LO underscore document. Now what is the class? cl underscore document underscore bcs now we will go for math now we will go for this add underscore attachment i will go for okay i will simply uncomment try block i will simply uncomment catch block now we will pass the various things Firstly, we will go for attachment type. Yes, we are sending ALV output as an email attachment. So we will simply go for Excel. Yes, yes because our Excel will be our Excel data. This is the whatever the mail we are sending. The data will go in the form of Excel. So I will simply provide Excel. Yes. During smart form and Adobe form, we gave PDF. Attachment type is PDF. Now I will go for attachment subject. Just simply understand. Suppose if I will go here, what is the attachment subject? 0 to hyphen a back dictionary exercises. This is your attachment subject. This was previously we did the subject of the mail. Now we have the subject of the attachment. Now as a part of subject of the attachment, what I will do? I will simply, simply pass this date. I will simply pass this date, LV underscore date. So the customer can understand that this attachment is for this particular date or what we will do. I will simply write, suppose, concatenate. We will go for some concatenate. Suppose I will write sales orders. I will go for underscore. I will write LV underscore date into. Suppose I am writing LV underscore attachment subject. We'll declare this. We should not go for hard coding in one particular English language. We should use the text symbols. Suppose I will create text symbols. Go to text elements, text symbols, 008. 
sales orders. I will activate this part. I will write their text hyphen 008. So it will write sales orders underscore whatever that date is anyways dd dot mm dot y y y we already converted that date. Now I will declare LV underscore attachment subject. What will be the type of LV underscore attachment subject? It will be same as that of I underscore attachment subject. How I can check that type? I will simply double click. I underscore attachment subject is of this type. If I will double click, you can simply see if we will go for this. What is this column? O, B, J, D, E, S. O, B, J, D, E, S. So you can use data element or you can simply, simply go for this also. Table name, hyphen column name. One and the same thing anyways. Now I will declare LV underscore attachment subject. Attachment subject type this. We'll see it is copied or something else copied. We'll see. If I will double click. Yes. We'll copy this. I will go for paste. Yes. Now we will go for next thing. Next important thing because previous thing will also cover now. Now, now I need to give the attachment because you gave the attachment type, you gave the attachment subject where is the attachment? Now we will go for reverse steps. We have this text document. We have this text format. Data is in text format. We simply converted it to binary format. It means this is our attachment. This is our attachment which we want to send. Now I will simply copy this and I will pass. Now the question comes. We have so many parameters in which in front of which particular parameter we need to pass this attachment. Just double click. We will be able to understand. Now you can see we want to go for binary. It means we need to go for which particular parameter this parameter. Now I will pass. I underscore attachment HEX. This is the attachment. LT underscore binary data. Now the previous thing will also be covered. When I covered LT binary data, at that time I told you, yes, if we will go for this particular function module, many people think at that point of time, how you come to know that binary tab is of solix underscore tab. Then I told you in the future, it will be automatically covered. Now it's a time to cover this. Now you can see in front of this parameter, in front of this parameter, we passed LT binary data. If I will check the type of this, you can see this parameter is of type solix underscore type. So this is the way how I check by the future tab steps. But at that point of time, I cannot cover because the future steps has not covered. Now I will go for back. So what we did, we simply add the attachment. Now just think, we created the document. Yes, we created the document. Created the document means we simply prepare the subject, body of the mail. We have the attachment of the mail. See, these are different. These are three independent things. We have this independent thing. With the help of this document class, with the help of this document class, we prepare the subject, we prepare the body, and we prepare the attachment. Now the question comes, yes, how it will attach into your mail? How it will attach? It will attach 
with the help of this particular class only yes cl underscore bcs because i told you at the initial level itself this is the most important class as of now it's a independent steps we have done we have simply simply prepared the subject body of the mail we prepared the attachment but how these all things will come into our mail with the help of this particular class cl underscore bcs now we will see cl underscore bcs which particular method we need to use to add these particular things now we will see we'll simply scroll down and we'll see which particular method we can use now i will simply you can see we have a method here set underscore document it is clearly saying set document to be sent we prepared the document each and everything with the help of this particular class but how these two will link now now we will link with the help of this particular method set underscore document now you can understand very clearly because as of now these two are independent thing cl bcs independent cl document bcs independent we need to attach or how we will attach with the help of this particular method set underscore document it's an instance method yes it means we can call through object so i will go for pattern i will go for a app object patterns and you can see it's our next step also we created the attachment we added the attachment now we need to set that document document means whatever we prepared now we need to set so i will simply go for this particular class now what is the object of bcs class lo underscore bcs cl underscore bcs now we will simply call the method set underscore document i will go for okay now we will simply uncomment will simply uncomment and here we will pass the object of document class what is the object of document class this is the object of document class. we simply linked the object of bcs class with the object of document class object of bcs class with the object of document class because before that both are independent now i will simply remove this commented code i will remove this commented code now i will check the syntax up to this level and i will activate so what is the summary of this particular video in this video i covered two steps was seven step added the attachment and eight step set the document to add the attachment we simply called the method add underscore attachment we pass the document type xls because our data is going in excel format we provided the subject we prepared the subject yes and that is our attachment subject that is our attachment subject after that we gave the data because we after we provided the attachment because our where is our attachment where is our attachment data it is into this particular internal table this internal table we got from this particular function module then i told you at that point of time i declared lt binary data of this type but how i come to know at that point of time with the help of this we check the type of this parameter and yes in front of this we passed lt binary data now now the important thing is your bcs and document bcs both are independent as of now how you will attach your document how you will set your document into this particular class yes with the help of which method set document so we call this method and we pass the object of document class now in the next video we will go for the remaining steps and we will understand each and everything in the debugging so that's it in this video thank you